Hello everybody, uh, my name's Michael Coleman, I'm the local organiser for the British National Party here in Stoke-on-Trent and uh, today I'd like to talk to you about an opinion that I have on the local uh, media in Stoke-on-Trent uh, because we've got a very very serious problem with them not reporting the truth to the people of Stoke-on-Trent. Over the past uh, three or four years we at Stoke BMP have been monitoring very closely the local media, in particular the local newspaper, uh, the local radio stations, the BBC radio stations in particular, and we've been comparing what they are reporting with events in the city. And I have to report to you uh, the very important uh, realisation that these media outlets that are professing to be free and open and fair are actually not reporting the news uh, that the British people, the people of Stoke-on-Trent, really need to receive. In particular, um, we've noticed that the way that they don't report uh, any issue regarding or involving uh, ethnic minorities. And when they do report them, they do not report them in a way giving them notoriety and the sort of uh, sensational way that we know that they would report uh, a crime if it were committed by uh, an English man or English woman. And um, we know that uh, English criminals are demonised in these newspapers and on the radio and on local TV. And we know that local ethnic minority uh, criminals, gangsters, are not demonised. And we're beginning to see very clearly that there is a very clear, wide gulf in reporting. And we're getting the idea that uh, the media in Stoke-on-Trent is not free, is not fair, but it is full of politics, full of agenda, and actually uh, the local media are involved in a massive um, a coordinated conspiracy to deny the truth uh, to the British people, the people of Stoke-on-Trent. And we believe that they're doing this in order to conjure, to manufacture a false uh, perception of reality uh, in Stoke-on-Trent, whereby uh, the enforced multiracializing of Stoke-on-Trent is successful. Um, and so any story, any news item, any event, any criminality that would counter that opinion, the, the party line that multiracialism and multiculturalism is good, is not reported. Or if it is reported, then it is reported in a very small and contain, contained and confined way. Um, this is uh, again creating a false perception in the minds of the British people that this, this wicked experiment is working and I, I have great objection to that and so today I'd like to utterly condemn uh, these so-called free and fair and open uh, medias uh, because they are not free and open and fair. They, they, they are engaged in a political program that I believe is destructive to uh, my city. Uh, they are deceiving my people. They are not delivering the truth to my people. They are engaged in a, a wicked program to spread falsehood and disinformation in the community. And so I'd like to utterly condemn them there. I'm very angry, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated, I'm angry with these people because uh, it's becoming very clear that they are not our media. Not our media. Uh, and so on that note, I'd like to uh, just end and end by saying that I'm very angry and I'm looking forward to the day when I can bring this media down. This is the enemy media and replace it with a media that is free and fair and does actually report the news according to its news value uh, and take away the politics, the leftist politics that I know these people are associated with and the dirty lies and the deception that they are perpetrating in our society. Thank you.